Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to look at the new features and improvements that Microsoft is making available with the Windows 11 22H2 October update, which may probably arrive in November. As part of the first feature drop, Windows 11 is getting tabs for File Explorer, suggested actions, taskbar overflow menu, and the ability to use nearby sharing with more devices. Also, there is an updated version of the Photos app. This feature will arrive as a small update that will not require full reinstallation. Actually, it will install as a monthly update for devices already running version 22H2. Okay, here's what's new with the October update for Windows 11 22H2. On this release, File Explorer is finally getting support for tabs. The new tab system works like the experience in the browser. Instead of having multiple instances of the app, you can now use one instance to navigate multiple folders and drive locations. When you open the file manager, you will now find a new plus button to create a new tab, or you can also right click a folder and select the option to open it in a new tab. In addition, you can now use the middle click of the mouse to open a specific folder or drive into a new tab. This also works if you use the middle button of the mouse and clicking an item from the left pane. Also, you can now right click the tab to access the context menu with options to close the current tab and close the other tabs if you have anything open. But it also depends where you're right clicking. For example, if we right click a tab that is in the middle and it's not the one at the beginning or at the end, you will see that we have another option, which in this case is to close tabs to the right or close other tabs. If you do it to the one at the end, you can see that that option is grayed out. You can also rearrange the tabs, but you cannot drag a tab out of the current window to create a separate instance. File Explorer also includes some keyboard shortcuts that you can use to work with tabs and the keyboard. For example, you can use the Control T keyboard shortcut to open a new tab, and you can use the Control W to close a tab. You can also middle click into the tab, and that action will also close a specific tab. The file manager for Windows 11 also comes with a redesigned navigation pane on the left, right here. The new visual changes provide easy access to pin and frequently used folders and the OneDrive Cloud profiles, which now reflects the user's name associated with that account. The known folders such as documents, downloads, pictures, and music are no longer displayed under the This PC page on the right or on the left, and that is to keep the view more specifically on drives. Finally, on the home page, you will now be able to see suggested files and your colleagues' actions on your shared files from your OneDrive account. As part of the uh, October update for Windows 11 version 22H2, Microsoft is also updating the nearby sharing feature to use the UDP protocol in private networks and Bluetooth to discover even more devices, including desktop computers in the network. As you can see, I'm just trying to share this file and now we can see more devices. In this case, I have another virtual machine on my computer and I can see it right here so I can share this file with that specific computer more easily. In this feature dropped, for Windows 11 version 22H2, you're also going to find suggested actions, which is a feature that brings up inline suggestions to create calendar events or to make phone calls by copying a date, time, or phone number. For example, if you select and right click a real phone number, when you copy that selection, you will now see a inline menu, which is suggested actions, where you can select different applications installed on your computer to complete a phone call. Or if you are selecting a date or a time, you will see options to create a calendar event. 
in this case because it's a phone number we get suggestions to make a phone call through the phone link app and the web browser the feature only works when you actually perform a copy action not when you use a cut action if this feature is not for you you can always go to the settings app and then on system just go to clipboard and right here you will see the suggested actions and you can just turn off this toggle switch and that will disable the feature this feature drop for windows 11 version 22h2 comes with an updated version of the taskbar that introduces the overflow menu which makes it easier to switch and launch apps when you don't have enough space in the taskbar when the taskbar reaches the maximum capacity of items that it can display you will see now this button on the bottom right corner that opens up the new overflow menu and as you can see you can access to all the other apps that couldn't be displayed into the taskbar and you can also right click and access the jump list and your pin apps so if you still have a space on the taskbar you won't see it so let me just unpin some of the apps to make more space and as you can see we no longer see the overflow menu it will only appear when you don't have enough space to see other apps as part of this rollout microsoft is also making available a new version of the photos app that will arrive as an update through the microsoft store once installed you will notice a really an application that offers a new interface that moves the navigation pane to the left side of the screen where you can access your picture from onedrive and folder locally stored on your computer as you can see right here at the top we have onedrive and then you can just browse to your folders and even external devices if you have any and there is also an option to access your pictures that you marked as favorites the main interface offers a canvas with controls to sort your pictures you can also filter media by photos or videos or you can see all media and of course there is an option to change the size of the preview for your pictures you will also notice that those items that are located in your onedrive account they're going to have a onedrive icon on the top left as you can see right here and at the top you will find the search box which is similar to the one you find in the microsoft store app the settings page has also been redesigned and now it looks more like the settings app for windows 11 where you will find all the features and settings that you can configure with the new photos app of course you can personalize it and change the color mode you can use the light theme or you can use the dark theme or you can let the app decide based on the color mode on the computer the app also lets you decide whether you want to see your images from your OneDrive account and there is a bunch of other features that you can enable and disable through this page you will also notice that now there is an option to get the clipchamp app which is the new application to edit videos on windows and because the company is trying to promote that app now it removes all the video editing from the photos app when you open an image you will still have access to the same features as the legacy version of the app but the image now opens into a separate window finally you can always change the side of the navigation pane to get a little more space but you can always click this button right here to close the menu and all and only see the buttons if you want to add a new folder you don't have to go to the settings just click on folders and that will open this page where you can add a new folder to the application or you can also use the button right here on the top right you can also right click to remove the folder to create a new folder and to open this particular location in file explorer and that's it those are pretty much all the new features and improvements expected to arrive with the october update for windows 11 version 22 h2 remember to leave your comments subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and i just hope this video was informative for you and i would like to thank you for viewing